Today is June 8th. On the 8th of June, 1042, Edward the Confessor becomes King of England. He would later also be known as the last King of the House of Wessex and the penultimate Anglo-Saxon King of England. Who was the very last Anglo-Saxon King of England? Follow the link in the description of this video to submit your answers and win an amazing prize. Hello and welcome to yet a new episode of Smarter by the Second. I am joined here today by Dan Pluister. Hello, Hi. how are you? I'm doing fine, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Uh, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I'm Dan, I am 22 years old, I'm in my fifth year of studies, first year master. I'm now doing some courses, so yeah, I'm excited okay. to be here. Yeah, are you? We are excited to have you here. Uh, you chose to compete in geography, uh, why is that? Well, I just like watching some random YouTube videos about ah, okay. some ge geog ge geography facts. And yeah, I will see how uh, well yeah. I do. Are you into maps as well? Or a bit, yes. Do yeah. you have like sometimes a big map in your room? Or, uh? Not even, no. Ah, okay. No, sometimes I just look at Google Maps and see ah, what's yeah. happening. Very calming, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Let's hope you do well. I hope so. People from all over the world drink coffee. Who doesn't like a good cup of joe in the morning to get them started for the day? Since coffee is so international, here are nine landmarks in Latte Art. So on the screen you see nine landmarks, so uh, sort of well-known places, and then we will show you pictures of the pictures of those landmarks made by people in Latte Art. Are you a coffee drinker? I'm not a coffee drinker. Oh, not a coffee drinker, no. but uh, you can... Uh, not even into latte art or... Uh, uh, I, I think it's pretty nice to see. I, I yeah, <laughs> and you know all these places? Uh, I know, uh, I know. Almost Have you ever all been to any... Uh... Uh, I've seen the Big Ben. Okay, yeah. so you've been uh, been to London. And I've, al I've also been at the Colosseum. Okay, ah, okay, pretty sick. Okay, so the nine landmarks are the Gateway Arch, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Big Ben, the Colosseum, the CN Tower, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Fuji, Sydney Opera House, and the Burj Khalifa. Start the round? Yeah. Okay, well, let's start the round then. Uh, this is Sydney. Uh, this is the Burj Khalifa. This is the Colosseum. This is Fiji. This is the Big Ben. This is the, the, the Gateway Arch. This is the CN Tower. The Golden Gate Bridge. No, the Sar Sydney Harbour Bridge. And the last one is Golden Gate Bridge, stop the time. Okay. Confident by this round? Confident you sounded confident. So uh, how many do you have correct? You I think, think I have all correct. All correct? So no lifelines? Uh, no lifelines. No lifelines. Well, okay, let's uh, check the answers. So this was, of course, um, Sydney Opera House. And you had that correct. Then we had the Burj Khalifa Tower. So correct. The Colosseum. Mount Fuji. And the Big Ben. So I already have five correct. You're through to the uh, next round. Then we have the Gateway Arch. The CN Tower. The Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Golden Gate Bridge. So that's a nine out of nine. Very well, very well. That means you get one extra lifeline for okay. the next round. So we have four now in total. It's very good. It's time for fun with flags, but we are going to stay local this time. Here are nine Dutch regions, provinces, and cities. So you get the flags of these regions or provinces or cities and you have to get which region province or city it is yeah. if you know I, most of these places if it would or? only be provinces that would be easier oh but, yeah uh, we will see have you been to every province in uh, the netherlands yes I've been ah okay province. nice well traveled uh, yeah <laughs> well in the netherlands not that far yeah 
Yeah, yeah, it's a local. <laughs> so the nine places are Enschede, Overijssel, then we have the province of Utrecht, The Hague, Friesland, Hengelo, Rotterdam, Twente, and Utrecht, but the city. Are you uh, feeling confident or uh, we'll be doubting? Tough, you uh, have we'll four see. lifelines, so nothing to worry about. Yeah. Uh, you've done this before? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, then uh, let's start the round. Twente, uh, Overijssel, Friesland, uh, De Heek, Utrecht Province, Engelo, Rotterdam. Enschede and Utrecht City. Do you want to switch something around or? Um, no, stop the time. Okay. Do you want to use any lifelines? You uh, are unsure in any sense. I need to have six correct, right? Yeah. We have four lifelines, but uh, they use, uh, then subtract 16 seconds each. But you have uh, 230 seconds left. Uh, uh, so just think about it, what you want to do. Can I use three lifelines? <laughs> three lifelines? Of course you can use three lifelines. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, then let's check the answers. Well, that I definitely have the round, right? Yeah. So, uh, Twente. Okay, nice. You have this, uh, this one. Then uh, this is Overijssel. It's also correct. Then Friesland. And this is the province of Utrecht. And this is the city of Utrecht. And then we have the city of Rotterdam. So you have uh, six now, you're through. And this is actually the flag of Enschede. This is Hengelo. And uh, this is uh, OO de Haag. Groene geel from uh, ADO colors, you know. Yeah. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. You're, you've used uh, you've used three lifelines, and you needed three lifelines. <laughs> but I see you're not from uh, Enschede originally. You didn't know the flag. I didn't know the flag of Enschede. Uh, where are you from uh, originally? I'm from uh, Heerengewaard, which is a place near Altmaar. Oh, okay. I uh, North Holland. Yeah. I think. Oh, okay. Then it's excusable. Yeah. If you would have shown the Altmaar flag, then I would have known. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we could, we could, but yeah, then again, this is a hard quiz for smart people, so yeah, that's why we, uh, yeah, that's why you joined. Even though we like to think of the Netherlands as having reclaimed the most land from the sea, it is in fact China who has reclaimed the most land from the sea, almost 12,000 square kilometers. The Netherlands isn't far behind, being second with almost 7,000 square kilometers. In this round, we have nine countries and their land area. So you see nine countries here, or not, sorry, you see um, the areas of nine countries here, and some of them are given in square kilometers, some in square meters, you have to pay attention to that. And uh, we uh, approximated them. And then I will name nine different countries, and you have to match them with the right area. Okay. How do you feel about this? Well, I first have to order them in my mind and then <laughs> you will see what yeah, happens. Yeah, let's say you have to order them, that's how to do it. So the total areas are approximately 10 million squared kilometers, 70,000 squared kilometers, 17.1 million squared kilometers, 9.6 million squared kilometers, 42,000 squared kilometers, 31,000 squared kilometers, 358 square thousand square kilometers, 44,000 square meters, and 202,000 square meters. Are you ready? Let me look at the answer still. Yeah, that's fine. Take your time. I'm ready. Okay, then uh, <coughs> let's begin. So, the first country, uh, the Netherlands. Uh, 42,000 square kilometers. OK, 
Okay, then we have Belgium. Uh, 31,000. China. Uh, China, uh, 10,000 square kilometers. Okay, Canada. Canada, uh, Canada, 10,000 and China, 17,000. Uh, Canada, 17,000 kilometers. Okay, Germany. Germany, uh, 70,000 kilometers. Russia. Okay, Russia on 17,000.1, the next one on 10. 10 million, then the next one on 9.6 million. So you want Canada, China, which one do you want on? Yeah, so uh, Canada on top, Okay. then China. Yeah, then we have Monaco. Uh, that is 44,000 square meters. Vatican City. Uh, 44,000 square meters and Monaco to 202 square meters. The, the Republic of Ireland. Okay, Ireland on 70,000 and then Germany on 358,000 yeah, so stop the time. Okay. Okay, a lot of switching around. Yeah, I get that. This is yeah. a, a difficult round. That's why I say so myself. What are your feeling? I think I, all, I have them all correct. All correct? Yeah. Okay, we need seven correct answers for you to go next to, uh, to the next round. Let's look at the right solutions. So, the first one, uh, then we had the Netherlands, that is 42,000 square kilometers. Then we had Belgium, which is 31,000 square kilometers. Um, so, two correct already. Then we had China, that's 9.6 million square kilometers. Yeah, looking very smug. Mm -hmm. then, uh, <laughs> then we had Canada, that's 10 million approximately square kilometers. Germany is 358,000 square kilometers. Uh, Russia, 17.1 17 million square kilometers. Monaco is 202,000 square meters, so you already have seven correct answers. You're, you're already through. Let's uh, check the last ones. Vatican City, 44,000 square meters, and the Republic of Ireland is 70,000 square kilometers. So nine out of nine. Nice. Yeah. So that means you got an extra lifeline. How many? Uh, I think that's three lifelines now uh, you have, right? I think it says two and it oh, two. Have two. Okay, two, uh, that's not bad either. Yeah. Oh yeah, you lose, you use three. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, so two in the next round. Do you want to play uh, the fourth round? You have 107 seconds left. I think we can do uh, We can. Do yeah, I'll all or nothing, eh? and you need nine out of nine? Yes, let's go. Okay. In the Netherlands, we love our birds. Every year, a national bird count is organized to keep track of how many spe specimens of each species we still have. People all over the country join in by looking into their garden or from their balcony. But not only in the Netherlands do we love our birds. In a lot of other countries, they even have an official national bird. Here are nine countries with a national bird. So you'll see the names of the countries and will show you a picture of the bird in question and I also also give the name and you have to say from which country that national bird is. Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling about this? You're unsure I, I see. Don't, don't know, I don't know the national bird of the Netherlands so this will be tough. <laughs> well you will know after this. How do you at the Netherlands? You're not a patriot I see. Yeah. Only on King's Day. Yeah but that was only a while ago. Ah, yeah, well, yeah, a month ago, uh, right, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so the countries are the Netherlands, Sweden, Chile, Australia, South Africa, Mauritius, India, France, and Vatican City. Are you ready? Mm. I want to read the... I'm reading the answer. Okay, fine. I'm ready. Okay, then uh, let's start the round. Okay, the, we have here the black-tailed godwit. Australia. Okay, then we have the emu. 
South Africa. The peacock. The Netherlands. The dove. The Netherlands and then the peacock to, to, goes to France. Then we have the blackbird. Vatican City. Then we have the Andes Condor. In Chile. The crane. Uh, Mauritius. And then the, the dodo. Mauritius. And then the other one goes to Sweden. And then finally the rooster. Uh, the, the Netherlands and then the dove goes to Sweden and the one on Sweden goes to India, stop the time. Okay. Oh, how are you feeling about this? I have absolutely no clue. So uh, I will use all my lifelines. You can use your lifelines. So, yeah, you have enough seconds for that. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, we'll just look at the answers and see if you won. So this was the black-tailed godwit, and this is actually the national bird of the Netherlands. And then we have the emu, and it's a national bird of Australia, even though they uh, fought a war against the emus, but well, whatever. Then thirdly we have the peacock, and this is the national bird of India. So it's, uh, you already didn't win, Sadly. but we'll uh, look through the answers. The dove is the national bird of Vatican City. And the blackbird is from Sweden. And then the Andes Condor is from Chile. So, one correct, <laughs> nice. <laughs> then the crane is the national bird of South Africa. The dodo is the national bird of Mauritius. So I think that's too correct. Yes, and the rooster is of course uh, of France. You know, the, the French uh, national teams they always play with the, the I rooster. I don't know. Ah, I okay. don't see it. I don't ah, doesn't sports. matter. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, it's a shame you didn't win, but you fought well. Yeah. And uh, to thank you for that, we have a nice participation prize. A, nice, thank a you. clock. You're happy with that? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, the answer to today's viewer, viewer's question was Harold Godwinson. Thank you for watching and see you next time.